Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some more news relating to the GeoHot versus Sony case. So I have an article over here on my website, besttechinfo.com. I will have a link to it in the more info so you guys can check it out and read more on it there. According to Wired, GeoHot, aka George Hots, has been ordered by the court to actually hand over his computer's hard drive to Sony. Now apparently this was issued by US District Judge Susan Ilston and basically this whole thing started uh, after GeoHot began hacking the PS3 and actually successfully managed to create tools to hack it and posted them online. Now I guess Sony didn't take that too kindly so they actually retaliated and there have been numerous uh, articles online about how Sony is going after GeoHot with full force and they were actually calling the court case at one time Sony versus Fail instead of GeoHot versus Sony or George Hotz versus Sony or something like that, something that's more appropriate. They actually stooped to such a low level that they actually insulted him in their actual legal papers, which just makes Sony look stupid in my opinion. And uh, now, I guess, the U.S. court is actually in favor of Sony at this moment. Now, GeoHot's attorney actually tried to block the move and questioned the judge about it. And the judge said, and I quote, Here I find probable cause that your client has got these things on his computer, she said. It's a problem when more than one thing is kept on the computer. I'll make sure the order is and will be that Sony is only entitled to isolate the information on the computer that relates to hacking of the PlayStation. So basically that made absolutely no sense whatsoever, but I guess that's the quote that uh, she said to uh, GeoHot's lawyer. So I honestly don't get that. It doesn't make any sense to me. I think that's just plain BS. And I honestly think that maybe Sony is actually paying off the judge or someone else that's higher up to actually pull the strings and to make this escalate beyond what it actually should have in the beginning. I didn't even think Sony had that big of a uh, advantage at all when this whole thing first started up. I mean, because honestly, the Digital Millennium Act states that jailbreaking and hacking of consumer electronics is completely legal, so I have no clue where this is going. Basically, it just seems like one big disaster, and it also seems like some huge publicity thing that got extremely blown out of proportion. I, like I said, I honestly don't know what's going to happen with this. I mean, I hope GeoHot prevails, and I still think he probably will in the end. How However, as of now, I really do not know the outcome and what's going to happen. If you guys have anything to add or to let me know, just be sure to leave it in the comment section below. And also be sure to rate this video up, even if you don't like it. And even if you don't like the news, if you're a subscriber to me, uh, just be sure to rate it up. Because again, that really helps me out. And also, if you just came across this video and you aren't already subscribed to me, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more high quality videos. So uh, I hope you guys like this video. Again, this is ICU signing out.